who would come in and break a shoe? All my heels. Somebody don't want me to wear high heel shoes because all of my heels are just like breaking, right? I know in Las Vegas, the reason why I escaped Las Vegas is because they was trying to force me to be a boy, force me into uh, being gay, a stud, a boy. And the politicians were. And so I left. But somebody is insisting that I don't, that I don't uh, look feminine or that I don't wear girly clothes. Somebody is insisting. And so this is not the first pair of shoes. I didn't wear these shoes. I'm just getting in to St. Louis. I didn't wear them. I didn't break them. Matter of fact, I had them on when I, uh, last time I wore these, when I went to court October the 1st in Vegas. And they were just fine. They wasn't broke. I brought them here. I was just going to put them on. I tried on one of them today. I was going to put them on. But look, since I've been in this house, I've only been in this house. It's like the fourth day in this apartment in St. Louis. I don't even know where they broke. They could, if somebody came in and broke them, which they could have, then they broke them either when I was on the road because they was in that particular purse traveling because I brought them here from Vegas and or somebody come in here and break them. But I say that this is not the first time that my shoes have been broken. All of my high heel shoes are broken. When my baby brought my shoes to me in uh, Houston, I noticed that majority of them, every pair was broke. One, just one shoe, every pair of them was broke. Now, who is it that don't want me to wear feminine clothes? Who is it that don't want me to wear high heel shoes? And how did this one break that fast? Because you knew I wouldn't, if they was broke like that, I wouldn't have brought them all the way here from Las Vegas to St. Louis on the road. I would have tossed them before I even packed them. And so and I haven't had them on since I packed them, and I've only been here for four days. So how did they break? And then another time when I was in Houston, I have some uh, shoes that I wear. I don't generally wear gym shoes at all unless it's cold or unless I'm walking. Well, I bought a good pair of gym shoes from the walking company. And it was 160 bucks, no name, just a, a walking company brand. I got those for, you know, for good posture and whatever. Just some good walking shoes, your arch and stuff. And so one day, I was, I was at my daughter's house in Houston. And one day, I got ready to put those shoes on. Do you know both pair of them had that same identical cut? They was flapping like they, under the bottom of the feet. There was about the size of maybe a small orange or something. It was cut like a half like flapping, just a, all that was cut, but just a little bit. And both was identical cuts on each gym shoe. Now, who is it that will keep bothering me and harassing me? And who have this kind of um, capability and technology to do that, to, to spy in on me, to know where everything gets, to come in and do, just to accomplish one thing and to, um, who knew where those shoes, I didn't even know what other shoe was. One was in one box I tried on today, and then I just was going through my purse and seeing that I stashed that shoe and some other stuff in my purse, perhaps. And, uh, or maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And so I pray that the satellite is continuing to watch in the front door, because the only way you can get into this apartment on the front door, anybody else come in has to come in through this here back door. So I pray that satellite is continuing to watch and 